Real Madrid 2, A bar 1. We got really, 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 really lucky. Really, 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 really lucky. I can't emphasize that over and over and over again. Uh, I said this last week too when we played at the Bernabeu versus Huesca. Um, obviously, our luck ran out when we played Valencia, but uh, man, what can I say? What can I say? I thought this was going to be convincing, right? I thought this was going to be resounding. I thought the players were going to want to respond to to the previous game, uh, to what happened at La Mestalla. But no, 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 no. It didn't go that way. We started off on the wrong foot. Real Madrid, 1-0. I mean, not Real Madrid, A-bar, 1-0. And then, you know, the crowd jeering, the crowd jeering, just the crowd just in shock. I mean, we can't believe it. A-bar, 1-0 at the Bernabeu. You know, what's going on, you know? What's going on with this Real Madrid team? And what I've, I've tried to exonerate the players before. I've tried to vindicate them. I've tried to clear them of, of all the blame, but now I don't think I can do it anymore. I, the players are to blame or the players are to blame they look not they don't look motivated this this team needs a change for sure I've tried to clear the blame for the players but this team does need a change and I thought maybe that Zidane coming back that it would motivate the players that the players would just be pumped up ready to win more trophies but it's just not looking that way and I don't understand why um, well I could understand it to some extent I do understand the psychology behind it when you win so much, it can be very difficult to come back from that. Um, you know, there's a lot of motivation that has just left you because you've won it, you've done it, you've accomplished what you've wanted to do, you know. <clears throat> and there are some players or there are people that when they succeed so much in life, when they've done it all, they seem to kind of go in this uh, phase, um, in this gloomy phase, they kind of subdue themselves. And what happens is they don't feel motivated again. Sometimes people with careers, you know, you can see that that people who who achieve the highest apex of their career, sometimes they reach that point. And what happens is they don't feel motivated to do any better. And so what happens? These people who are at the highest of the, uh, you know, highest echelon of, um, you know, of their domain, they don't do their job that good or they don't do it well and they stay in these positions even despite not doing them not doing so well um because they're just not motivated anymore it's like they got there you know it's like their whole life they've been working towards that now they're there and now that they're there it's like all that euphoria all the um elation of of going to the top when you're at the top it's like you're there, you've done it. I don't need to work anymore, phew. So what happens is usually like person ends up slagging off, you know, um, not doing their work properly. And that's <clears throat> probably what's happening with a lot of players at Real Madrid is that they've already done what they needed to do as a footballer. <clears throat> they've even exceeded expectations. And so now what they're, what's happening is just, they're just slacking off. I mean, I think in psychologically speaking, I guess it's normal. I can understand that. Now, as a foot, as a football club, as a brand, as an institution, you know, whatever you want to call it, as an organization, <clears throat> the football club keeps running and keeps running, and it needs to make you know profit. It needs to still win, um, because if not, it's going to lose supporters. It's going to lose you know this and that. It's going to lose sponsors, things like that. So we still need to. I should say we, but you know the the board members, whatever you want to call them, they still want to see the wins. They still want to see the wins, obviously, and us fans too. We we still want to see the wins, but the problem is the players are not motivated anymore because they've already reached that apex. I guess you could say they've already reached the top of the top. They've already done it as a footballer. So what does that mean for Real Madrid? Yes, we will need to play bring more players in the summer. We will need to offload some players. Um. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about today's game. Enough about that. What happened in today's game, man, it's, it's, it's not great, I'll be honest. Um, it, we do need new players. I was trying to say that we didn't need new players, but I think today I can just see that um, th this squad does need kind of... I would say a mini overhaul. I wouldn't say it's a full rebuild, but it does need a mini overhaul. So... 
let's get into the game. Let's get into the first half and what happened. I thought Bale was very, very abysmal. I backed Gareth Bale for a very long time. <clears throat> I still continue backing him. He wants to make it happen, but it's not happening. And that's the problem right now. Look, Ronaldo had his problems, you know, when he was at Real Madrid. The age was catching up to him, supposedly, by the media. But, you know, when the age was catching up to him, he would respond. And that's what Gareth Bale needs to do in this situation. Gareth Bale needs to respond to what's going on in the media. Needs to respond to um, kind of, you know, those kind of backlash comments, you want to call them. Um, he needs to make a golazo. Quiet those the, the fans, quiet the media. Um, Ronaldo, in those very, very tumultuous times, he would just come back and, and come back with something spectacular where everyone would... You know, have to applaud him because he was it was good. You know, and Gareth Bale just needs to do that. So I thought Gareth Bale overall abysmal in the second half was a little bit better, but really, really it was not enough. Um, you know, all throughout the all throughout the the game, it's just these bad passes. He was mistiming his runs. He couldn't um, he couldn't pass the ball well. There was a lot of misunderstanding with the players. Um, didn't make his runs when when needed to. Um, overall, it's not a great performance for Gareth Bale. I hope he can turn it around. I hope he can turn it around because he's probably going to stay with us next season. He's on high amount of wages. Um, you know, Madrid, it's a good place to be at. I'm sure he doesn't want to leave. But um, with the way things are going out, with the, with the way things are going, um, you know, it's not going to go a lot better for Gareth Bale. But he needs to turn it around, and hopefully he can turn it around. He's the kind of player that needs the um, kind of some embrace from the fans, kind of for the fans to help him, to for the fans to support him. Unfortunately, the Bernabeu is not the place for that. Um, when you're doing bad, you'll know it. And Gareth Bale does know it. He was jeered all match. So Isco was fantastic. Isco, great, great, great performance. Was putting in passes, these exquisite passes, these very, very, very good passes. Um, to, some to Bale, where which you know Bale missed time his run. He was offside. Um, I think he put some to Benzema too. Um, I can't think who else Asensio too. But overall, you know Isco was great. Mahisco as they call him. So he was great. Benzema. What can I say? Man of the match once again. I gotta give it to him. Benzema was absolutely perfect. Usually, um, you know, and I've said this before about Benzema. What happens with Benzema is usually. Um, he'll do really good at the beginning of the season and then it kind of goes down in the I would say about three-fourths of the way in or half half the way in of the season it'll go down but this year it's just been up 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 all throughout the season I didn't expect that and he is doing so good um, you know I know before that watching Benzema was amazing but now Benzema he's he's you know building up the play but he's also finishing and I think that's helping him so much. And I think that's helping him so much in in the sense that he's not getting as much backlash because he's actually able to finish versus before where he was missing the easy chances. Um, granted, you still have Benzema missing very, very easy chances. At the 86th and 87th minute, you had two clear, clear chances. Benzema also misses an open goal. Um, you know, overall, Benzema should be scoring. That should be doing better, but... I mean, two goals, building up the play, uh, fantastic, fantastic. Man of the match for me. Um, Varane, Varane was okay, you know. The, the second half was a lot better, but the first half, it wasn't great for Varane. He, he lost the ball. He, the first goal, I would say that's his fault. He really should be closing that guy off a lot better. Um, he gives him far too much space. The guy just makes a little pass, makes a little cute pass, and is able to get to his... Um, to his teammate so I thought Veron was horrible in the first half but in the second half he kind of got it back and I think the whole team really really was able to get it back um, in the after that first goal really I think that gave uh, the team a lot of confidence and we were just able to come back from that uh, Nacho I thought was decent he was very very good uh, well I don't, I don't want to say very good but he was very decent I would say especially coming back from performance where he wasn't that great um, not show to, to be given a chance was, was very good. 
Um, what else can I say for the goal? Uh, what else can I say for the for the game? Uh, uh, Cruz was uh, great, and uh, Vasquez was great also. I thought when they when they came into the team, it really uh, gal regalvanized the team. Uh, I thought the team was a little bit lackluster, but when they came in, it just energized the whole team, and uh, that that energy was able to 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 kind of disseminate throughout the team, and I thought that was fantastic. Um, I think that's all I have to say, really. Um, I mean, obviously, Asensio, I thought he did okay the first the first half, but second half, great from him. Um, if you know, I'll probably do the player ratings tomorrow. Um, yeah, I don't want to go into the player ratings too much. I kind of want to see more of the game because these are kind of my first thoughts about the game. But overall, this squad does need a rehaul or. Uh, mini transformation I would say I don't think it needs a full transformation but the players are not motivated maybe a psychologist would be great for for Real Madrid you know maybe Real Madrid does need a psychologist of some kind but um the players are not motivated that's what it comes down to that's what it comes down to and we have to remotivate the players because we can't rebuild the whole squad I mean think about it um, that would cost too much and then we have to sell and we have to bring them in um, I'd rather get the best out of these players that we have right now. Obviously, some players do have to go, but a lot of these players are so good, you know. We still have, I mean, Modric, yes, I guess you could argue he's on the decline, and I see it too. He is on the decline, which is normal. Cruz, he hasn't been great all season, but he it's still there. The talent is still there. Lucas Vasquez as a squad player, great to have. Um, what else? Navas, Navas, great goalkeeper. Veron, great center back, didn't have a good game today, but hopefully he can turn it around. I don't even know who else you have, but you ha you have all these players, and and these are the same players. Yes, there is a lack of motivation, but we have to get that motivation back. If we can get that motivation back, then we don't have to do a full rebuild of the squad. You know why do we have to? Why do we have to think we we need a full rebuild when these players have won the Champions League three times in a row? We don't need that full rebuild. It's just about getting the motivation back in these players. That's going to be the hard part because if we do a rebuild, it's going to take time. And that time, we just don't have enough of it. You know, players do age eventually. Um, players come and go. It's not like something that's kind of stagnant. Um, you know, time moves on a continuum and we can't stop there. We have to um, find another way. And, and yes, bringing up some players in will solve the problem, but it's really about getting that motivation back in the players that's really what's going to solve the problem at the end of the day. So that's all I have for you guys today. Really just to talk about motivation, really. But um, but that's all I have for you guys. Uh, I'll be putting out more videos tomorrow and, and in subsequent days to come. So thank you guys for watching and have a good day. And I'm out. See you guys.